everyone, welcome to um, Home Farm on this beautiful spring day. This is the first uh, of a few videos that we're going to make, just documenting how we're preparing for the summer um, on our garden and the house, which this year I'm hoping to change from a quite an inefficient house to solar powered, insulated. Uh, heat pump and we'll look at how much more efficient we can have uh, the house. You see it's quite a beautiful spring day here. It's the 29th of March. Olivia's working. We've just taken the poles down that we had the tomatoes growing on last year, the tomato frame. And um, we're just redoing those. The bottom have been, bottom of the poles have been in the ground for about four or five years now. And so they've got fairly rotten. This is the walnut tree. The bat boxes have been two years now. Um, not sure how long they'll take, but we're hoping for some bats to come in. You can see the fields. The yellow part of the house is the part that needs to be insulated. The red part is already insulated. There's a Starlink dish on the roof. And um, you can see it's quite a lot of work. Just started uh, cutting the grass. Just bought a electric uh, lawnmower. And I'll be trying that in the next couple of days. It's on charge now. And pass in front of the house. Hey, are you gonna come and show us around? So it's the electric chainsaw, works really well. What are you going to put down there? Mm -hmm. Here? Yep. Uh, I think some tomatoes. Tomatoes? Yeah, in the row. So we're going to Two put rows. them on the frame? Yeah. On the slope. So cherry tree, it's um, in full blossom now. The bees are loving that. What tree is this one? The first one. No, this tree, that's uh, the no, cherry it's, tree. It's a peach tree. Peach tree? Yeah. Yeah? The main tree is the weeping willow here, which also doubles up as a storage and garage for us. This one is? Always a cherry tree. Cherry tree, different type? Yeah, marine. Marini. Amarini. Amarini. Do you want Amarini. the what's the first one? Cherry. Just a normal, normal cherry. Normal cherry. Oh okay. It's an apple tree. Apple, okay. Apple. Uh, this one's only been here uh, three years now I think, whereas the other trees have had um been now seven years I think. Peach tree here, that self-seeded itself, so we moved it and planted it here. You can see out in the garden. So what's um, what's the plan here? Yeah, to put some compost on. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's there. I got the composter in the yeah, corner there. It's beautiful. What did you put in the composter? I see some still some eggs and grass as well. If you know. Grass and just general fruit. Yeah. The parsley is so, for um, the last year. The parsley is from last year, okay. Yeah, it's growing so well. And then um, we've still got the pipes there from the watering system because we don't get that much rain here. We need to have an irrigation system. Little shed here. 
This is where the grass goes from last year. That made really good compost last year, didn't it? Mm, yeah. And then there's the pond where we put in the cactus back. And here are the fish, which are on some of our videos. Do you want to give the fish some food? Mm. Mm. We've got the net on because there are herons and until the lilies grow, we like to give the fish a bit of protection. You see the exit from the filter there. Uh, there's a waterfall as well, and, uh, which we use later in the year. The little frogs, how to say? The, um, tadpoles. Yeah, tadpoles. Lots yeah. of tadpoles in there. If you like the fish on uh, or the channel, there's um, a few videos of them. They'll be coming. The lily are growing. Okay, yeah, the lilies in the, the bottom there. Yeah. What other things in there? Japanese plant. Okay. Bamboo, I think, no? A kind of, a type of bamboo. Then we got the floating plants, which are, yeah, like you say, reeds, bamboos, and they just float around. The nature pond, which has got the fountain and a waterfall. We've only just decided to do this video now, so nothing's been tidied or anything. But this gets uh, full of frogs and newts and things. And then the uh, area at the top of the garden, um, a watering system in there. And uh, we've got oranges, lemons, and various plants. My favorite flower, lilac. And what's that one? Huh? Lilac. It's a lilac, okay. Yeah. You like that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> We've already started using the garden to full effect. It's about 20 degrees here in the day. Um, but tonight it's forecast to go back down to four degrees. Yeah. But I think the cold... Have a look at my... Oh, the frosts are finished. My fans. Oh yeah, you're very proud of this, aren't you? Yeah, you, yeah. You made the edge. I made an edge. And put a small Working fence up. Crab. Yeah. With the twigs from the Weeping Willow. Yeah. It actually used to be a swimming pool here, but we got rid of the swimming pool. Swimming pools are just a lot of work. brings you around. You say it's uh, a lot of tidying needed, a lot of work. This is the fig tree, which is about six years old now. It literally was a twig, but we get really good twigs from there. Alright, we'll sign off. So we say goodbye. Mm. Hi. Bye. Bye. See you soon. I hope. <laughs> have a nice day. Yeah. Have a Everybody. nice day. Everybody.